Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I'm Melinda Kopp, the Branch Managing Librarian at the Ripon Memorial Library. And this is the second time that I have presented a wellness segment on yoga. And the yoga that I do is for the whole family. Nothing very complicated. You can check the archive of programs that we have for Wellness Wednesdays and many other programs on our Facebook page and our YouTube page. So what you might want to do is go back and view the first yoga segment and where I give a lot more background information and introductory information um, if you want to. And, and then I'm just going to kind of pick up during this segment with doing yoga, just doing some new poses, doing some of the poses I did before. And I think one of the good things about this is that you can go back and use the same yoga segment again, or just stop it and do more, spend more time with each pose. So it works really, really well. So what you always want to remember to do is get rid of any extraneous stuff like necklaces. I have some kind of dangly earrings and they may get caught in something, but that's, they'll be fine. Um, if you have anything on that just might get in the way because you want to have freedom of movement and feel very comfortable. So what I'm going to start with is some breathing. And what's fun to do, with, especially with children, is to do some different kinds of animal breathing. So today we're gonna to do a little animal breath and it's gonna be a buzzing bee. So we'll take a deep breath in and when we let the breath out, we're gonna just kind of hum a little, okay? So here we go. Stand comfortably, looking straight ahead and raise your arms up, deep breath in. Out. Oh, good. And in again. And out. One more time, and this time, my hands are going to cover my ears when I let my breath out. And you'll be hearing that humming inside. Okay? So here we go. Deep breath in. Whoa, I could feel it and hear it all the way down through my body. That's really a good feeling. So you can almost engage with your breath in a different way. And maybe when I do another segment, we'll do another animal. But when you borrow books from the library, you'll find in the yoga books for children that they do present different animal noises. And the bee is one of my favorites. Okay, so we're gonna warm up a little, just getting a little bit loose, feeling our bodies kind of unwinding, getting ready for some postures. So let's start with um, just shaking our hands like they're wet. Okay, that feels really good. Just shake those hands. And then kind of do the same thing with your feet. So you're gonna pick up one leg, sort of shake it, make that foot kind of loose. The other leg, shake it real loose. And then you're just gonna fall over and sort of touch your toes like a rag doll, a little rag doll. And just let your head loose, hands loose. They may touch, they may not. Feels really good, just rest for a minute. And slowly come back up. And then we're gonna make those shoulders scrunch up to our ears and go down and scrunch and go down. And then touch your ear to your shoulder or try to. I don't think it'll get all the way down, but you're just stretching that neck and then do it on the other side. Stretch that neck. And then forward. Chin to your chest. 
and then back. And don't strain it or push it. Just let your head fall where it wants to, okay? And then we'll do some bigger movements here. We're gonna windmill our arms. Back, back. You might hear something crack. <laughs> I hope it's okay. And then go forward. Forward, oh, that feels good. And you can do warm up standing or sitting, however you wanna start your yoga. Um, I just happen to be standing for this one, so. Oh, that feels better already. Looking at my feet, making sure that they're shoulder width, and I'm just gonna stand up very straight and leave my arms kind of loose, and I'm gonna look straight ahead, just kind of gaze straight ahead. And maybe you'll remember this pose is called the mountain because you're feeling very grounded, bound to the earth with your feet, and you're reaching up to the clouds with your head as though you're a mountain. You can just stay in that position and take a deep breath. Let it out. And the next pose we're gonna do, we also did before, you're gonna remember this one, which is called the tree. So we stay in the mountain pose and we bring our hands up in kind of a little reverent posture. And you're going to pick one foot up at a time and kind of slide it up your leg to your knee and balance. And then we'll do it on the other side and we'll do it again making branches in the air. So just feel grounded and centered. Keep that gaze forward, that helps you balance. And bring your foot up and brace it against your knee. Just stand there and then let it down and do that with the other foot. Feel grounded and lift that foot up, slide it up your leg against your knee and let it down. And this time, we're gonna add our arms into the equation and we'll feel very balanced. So foot up against your knee and then make your arms go into branches. And back down, back down. You always wanna do the poses an even number of times on both sides. So here goes that foot again against the knee, and up go the branches. That's pretty good balance. Hands back down, foot down. I almost lost it there, but that was okay. Okay, so a mountain, a tree, and now we're gonna say, stay somewhat in the same position, but your feet are gonna be a little bit further apart. And sometimes people just have you jump your feet apart like this. Woo! Okay, so you're out beyond where your shoulder width is. What you're gonna do is raise your arms up so that you are making a T with your body. And you're gonna turn first the left foot out and you're gonna bend over, just keeping that T position. You're gonna slide down along that shin. And you don't have to touch your foot or your ankle. You're just gonna stay in that pose. So you're looking straight forward, your body is in alignment, and you're reaching down. That is called the triangle. Can you see a triangle here? Yeah, pretty cool. Now let's come back up, straighten that foot forward again, and turn this foot out. Make that T with your arms, and down you go along that shin. There you go, reaching for that foot, just making the effort, and this hand stays up, and your body is all in the same plane, and that stretch feels really good. I feel the stretch inside my legs, too. Wow. Okay. Put those feet back together. Give yourself a little rest. Maybe go back to the mountain for a second. Take another deep breath. And always remember to have some water 
I'm going to take a little sip of water. It's important to keep hydrated when you're doing yoga or any exercise. So now we're going to go down um, on the mat and the rest of the poses are going to be down on the ground. So I'm going to turn and you'll just be seeing me facing this direction most of the time. And I'm going to go down on my hands and knees. And to get there, I'm just going to bend over. I'm going to walk my hands out and making sure I'm really secure, then I go down to a knee posture. So my knees and my hands are the same width apart. And um, if your arms, your arms may be longer. So what actually, what this pose is called is the table. Now I may not be a super flat table that you could set a dinner plate and a glass on, but you get the idea. The trunk part of your body is flat, flat, okay? So let's just stay in this pose. And it's a very easy pose, but it feels really good. And take a breath. And let it out. And another breath in. And out. Now we're going to transition to another pose here from our table posture. So I'm going to walk a little bit forward just a little bit, and you can see my feet have gone up. My toes are now gripping the mat because they're going to help me push my body up. So here we go. Walk your hands out a little bit further and push yourself up. Wow. Instantly, you are going to feel that your body's doing some work here. So let's flatten out and look forward. This is called the plank. So you look just like a plank that you might walk up from the ground into a building, OK? A little plank. OK, hold that for just a minute. Give yourself a little rest, kind of go back to a somewhat of a table pose. You can keep those hands out. And we're going to do it one more time. This is really working your arms, your upper body. It's building strength and in your legs, too. So toes under, up we go. You have a tendency to keep your, your, um, your rear up a little bit, so you want to tuck it back down so that you are in alignment and you look like a plank. Wow, I feel really strong all of a sudden. Okay, good job. Now we're going to come back down. And we're going to give ourselves a little tiny rest because that really worked our body and you may feel a little bit tired, but it's good in yoga to, to kind of pace yourself. Um, and you always kind of warm up and kind of cool down at the end. But what this pose is called, our hands are going to go back by our feet and our head is going to be tucked in. And this is called the child's pose. And sometimes they call it a stone because you're just down like a little rock. Um, but you tuck your head under. And just rest for a minute. It would be really easy to stay in that pose and kind of take a small nap. So remember that one. It feels, it feels so good to have your arms back. Well, now we're going to put our legs forward. So sort of uncurl yourself from the child's pose. Straighten your legs out. Your legs are going to be flat down on the ground, and your feet are just in a relaxed position. You don't have to keep them up straight. You just kind of kind of point them forward a little bit. And we're practically doing the pose now. But what you want to do is stretch out along those legs, kind of reach for your feet, and tuck your head down. And you sort of pull a little bit to really stretch. So you feel it in your back, you feel it along your legs, and you even feel it in your arms. And I did this pose in the first um, 
the first yoga segment and I think what I, how I described it is you kind of just feel yourself sitting as though you're sitting in a riverbed and the river is flowing over you. This pose is called the river and it feels really good. It really connects you to the earth too. Okay, so let's sit up straight. Your back got a little bit of a workout there, but it feels good. So now, I'm gonna just take another sip. <laughs> One more sip of water. Oh. And we're gonna lay down and we're going to stretch our arms out and this is another one that I did last time. It's either called the lying twist or the reclining twist. And the idea is that your head turns one way and your body turns the other. So that you're really stretching and getting the kinks out in your body. So we're gonna lay back. And put those arms out in a T position just like this, you're in a T. Your knees are bent a little bit. And first I'm going to look to the left. So my legs will drop to the right. And if you can't get them all the way down, that's okay. Just go as far as your body's comfortable. And you're gonna feel that sort of torque, that twist in your body, and it feels really, really good. So just breathe into it. Then bring your knees up. Turn your head the other direction. And drop your knees the opposite direction. Hmm. And breathe. OK, back up. Now, you can do that several times and it gets a little, you, you'll find yourself um, able to move your knees down even a little bit more each time. Your body's just kind of getting used to that and a lot of it is really just gravity kind of pulling your legs that way. But remember, never do anything if it's hurting you, okay? If anything hurts, you just stop, okay? So that felt really good and so now I'm gonna kind of sit up a little bit um, or scoop my back up and I'm gonna put my hands together and rub them. Can you hear that? You think I can do that with my feet? These are my palms. These are the bottom of my bottoms of my feet. I'm gonna try and rub them too. And this fun little pose is called the cricket. You're kind of making a little cricket sound. Can you feel that? So you're stretching your legs, you're resting on your back, and you're kind of cricketing out. It's fun. Children really like this. Okay, cricket. And always remember when you're doing these to keep your breath even, take some deep breaths. And now I'm gonna do another fun one, which is just a transition. And I'm just gonna hold pull my knees, pull my legs against my chest. And it's just called a huggy bear <gasps> in some of my books. So we're just gonna hug our knees and hold it. And that feels really good because that really presses our back in. Okay, so we are almost done, but when you end your yoga time, you always wanna sort of rest. We're resting a little bit now, but we're gonna do a fuller resting position. And I'm gonna take another sip. I'm just thirsty today. And this one, I'm gonna have a little friend with me, and this is fun for the children, but it's fun for grownups too, because my little friend frog here is gonna rest on my tummy while I lay back and just put my arms out comfortably to the side, let my feet flop down. And little frog gets to take a little gentle lift when I breathe in. And he comes down when I breathe. 
breathe out. One more time. And out. And you can do this as many times as you want and just kind of fall into, you can shut your eyes. You may want to turn the lights down. Just fall into a little resting. And you might even want to keep a blanket close by because sometimes because your body is kind of resting out, you get a little cool. So after you've done that, you need to take your time getting up. So very, very gently, get up on your elbows. Just stay in that position for a second. And then you can pull your feet up, push yourself up. And I'll put little frog back here. He had a nice time. And you can pretty fluidly bring yourself up onto your knees and go back into a standing position, but do everything slowly. You've been resting and you want to make sure that you're safe when you get up. So I think I'll just stay down here to say goodbye. Thank you again for joining me for Wellness Wednesday. And I hope you enjoy this yoga sequence. You can use it over and over again. And we'll see you again for another Wellness Wednesday edition. Bye-bye.